So they'll be calling you a radical. So this is more big news again. Just getting worse and worse and worse. Ken Buser told us it's getting better. Ken Buser says he went over there to Fukushima, you know, in the KLK study that he didn't, they didn't tell anybody. Kevin Weiss leaked it out. Now it's out there. He said recently in the interview that when he got over there, the radionuclides, the byproduct off the meltdowns, were millions of times the background. That's his old work. Millions. Now, I never heard that before. Millions. But he says it's getting, okay, if this is getting better, here we go. This is out by Alaska today. This just came out. And I got this from the fishing guide at the top. of them. This is the northern, where the big beasts are. This is above the Kenai. The entire drainage, all of it, every single river, closed, 100% closed. Nothing. To Chinook salmon. I mean, completely zilch, zero. And they said, why? They have boys out there. They get pretty good, you know, they inflate them, these numbers, but their boys, they're saying these numbers are so pitifully low. Just remember the Kenai last year, last the entire spring run, 1,975 for the entire fucking spring run. That's with no fishing. You know, they can legally take out half. At least half, and they take at least for the year this spring. That should be the day. This is a fucking catastrophe. And I want to say this to all these people that fucking sit around. I don't sit around and just spinch it. I'm an activist. I'm on the ocean. I do all this fucking work. I have from day one. I'm not a spin doctor. I don't sit around chat rooms and fucking Reddit who don't fucking get it and fucking shit. And people talk, talk of shit. They're, I mean, they're, they're saying, and this this didn't prove this to you, the great Pacific genocide. I've done the science. You're going to chalk up dead tide pools wipe out, the whole salmon collapse, the whole fucking well collapse to 2012, that bubble, all, all coincidence? <laughs> That's what science does. You gather the data. <laughs> coincidence don't get it in science. The scientists are mystified, baffled, stumped, fucking, that's not science, that's fraud. So, these new photographs that come out of Unit 1 showing they finally got some photos. These are the first real photos. They don't show shit, do they? They don't show no fucking core. Where's the fucking cores? And then you hear people say, oh, elephant, fuck. This ain't fucking Chernobyl. This is not fucking Chernobyl. You know, Chernobyl, they have an elephant. Remember at Chernobyl, Gorbachev drafted, called up a draft. Annika fucking... My ex-mate said they knocked on the door that night. Called both her fucking 17 and 18 year old brothers up. 700 and something thousand men got called up. They entombed it. Not just from above. Remember, they mined underneath it. They didn't do shit. So you're t this energy is melted down and you can see from the photos, you see, and all they almost look like icicles fucking dripping down. You know what that is? The big fucking platform that these fucking reactors set for on, that's what's left of that. The apparatus, even they say that. Even fucking lion-ass Tepco says that that's the rebar, <laughs> the core containment vessel, which is concrete rebar fucking. Chernobyl was one graphite reactor that blew up. One. No spent fuel pools. Seven are, they, underneath, they egged it. I've always advocated for that at Fukushima from day one. So did the Navy Admiral. Go ask him. Oh, yeah, I did. The only person... I like all these spin daughters. What Has any of you asked your state senator? You have two senators each state. Everybody in the... Has anybody interviewed their senator and asked about Fukushima? I have both mine. Has anybody went and asked their local House of Representatives? Represent? Oh, I have mine. It's online. Look it up. Has anybody went and asked one of your, you show up the campaigns or the debates and you ask all these, hey, what, has anybody asked them out? Oh, I have. I asked Trump. I asked Bernie. I've tried to freaking ask Oh Biden. I've asked all these people. Right to the, has anybody confronted the NRC, the Nuclear Re Regulatory Committee about this? Oh, I have. <laughs> I asked Gregory Jacko to his face. I asked, it's online. I asked Alice McFarland. It's online. Don't fucking tell me. 
You know what this is. Anybody that tells you know what this is, that prove this, prove, you know shit. Yeah, I'll tell you why you know shit. Because this has never fucking happened before. No one knows what this energy is off. All you can do is hypothesize the byproduct and then document the byproduct. We don't do, which that's what I've done. I've documented the tide pools. I've documented the salmon collapse. I've documented the wells. In an acute, radical fashion, they've collapsed. That's not, so we know it's unarguable, unarguable sign. You could sit around, oh, where are the elephants? Where are the woo, 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 cuckoo, lucu, worthless fucking haywire spin. Go find something else to do. The bottom line, the photos are shown and they come out. They don't know where these cores are. They don't know what this is. They don't know the energy. They don't know shit. Why? Because it never happened before. Never happened at Three Mile Island. That was a partial core melt. Remember, they had crews in there immediately fucking working on this. <laughs> they ain't done shit over there because they can't get near them. Their own words. We're 13 fucking years after the fact. 13 fucking years. <laughs> Do you realize? Oh, my God. Never happened. These are at least three, four coal mat pounds. Eight spent fuel pools with dumping water over it the whole time and pushing. Where do you think the water goes? Oh, their ice wall? <laughs> their tanks? And if the tanks are not a red herring to you, then tell me this. How did the eight, uh, 180,000 beckers of season 137 get into the rockfish in the Pacific Ocean in May of 2023 when they didn't start flushing the tanks till? August of 23. Breaking news. May comes before August. How did in 2022 did 1,400 Becquerel season 137 come from a nuclear field? Get into them. How did in 2011, and I posted this data over and over in the study in 2011, thousand times the background levels of season 137. Now, well, the reason we use 137 is because it's we get all the other bypress, just the ones we know. Strontium 90, you know, plutonium, all this by. Not even counting the one, and you don't think new stuff appears? Then how did uh, California happen? How does Tennessee happen? How did Livermorium happen? Look them up. Oh, 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 oh. It's that name Fuktoni. They have no fucking clue where these cores are at. Elements put my ass. There ain't no fucking elements. They don't know where it's at. So the whole hypothesis on China syndrome, whatever, which I named Delmar syndrome, pushing in. We know this energy is pushed deeper and deeper and deeper. They'll tell you straight up. We don't know. We've tried everything. We can't get near these fucking things. Robots can't near, let alone people. So nobody knows. They sure didn't mine underneath it like they did Chernobyl. <laughs> this is, doesn't even compare to Chernobyl. This is the, I mean, this is a Bugatti to a Pinto. I mean, don't get me wrong. Chernobyl was nasty, horrific, but this is fucking... These, this is so much bigger than... This is millions of times Chernobyl. The spent fuel... There was no spent fuel at Chernobyl, right? None. None. It's a brand new reactor. This had 40 years fucking load. Eight spent fuel pools. Seven reactors, not to mention the the common spent fuel pool. And MOX fuel. You're telling me you know what happens when MOX fuel... Oh, fuck. Okay, genius. Even Einstein didn't know. Nobody knew because it's never fucking happen. And then, so you're going to chalk up to coincidence. Typos wipe out in 2012. Oh, this wasted. That didn't cause waste. Okay, then what did? Oh, the assification. I'm the first guy. I'm the guy, first guy that started using the term, the fucking blob on the ass. And play back the tape, Your Honor. The assification. The salmon numbers, we count them all. I said, the Chinook salmon will not crash until 2016. They go to sea five years. Did they crash in 20? Off a cliff. So we know. The wells? The, the heating of the ocean, that data is pointing to 2012. The Well, the 75 biologists on the humpbacks are saying this starvation started in 2012. You want all this data, 2012. The heat dome over the Western United States, 2011, 2012. Fucking every single one of these fucking, we have the data. We have all the salmon data. We have it all. Well, if somebody would told you right there were uh, upper Alaska, that this would be, I mean, they had record returns going on. Giant beat, record returns going on 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and every river is in unison with each other. You can go from the Kenai and all these rivers, the hundreds of them, Nushkak, down to the Fraser in British Columbia, to the Rogue, 
know, the Willamette, damn it. The Kena, or excuse me, the Klamath and uh, Jedi Smith, right by each other. Jedi Smith has no dams. They're both down 97% on the Chinook salmon post-2016. That's one cute. Go see five years. So it's on argument. You, you you can go into your la la bill and sit around your chat rooms and I can think you're smart guys. You don't know shit. Scientists, you have to do the field work. Like I was telling a biologist said, where's your fucking field work? You know, arguing with me? Oh, well, I don't have any. Then shut the fuck up. I said it just like that too. What'd you say? I said, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your opinion and your fucking bullshit without any fucking work. Show me. I want to see some fucking data. I want to see some data. You know, you have to have field work. You have to have the data. You know, my typo work. There it is. Huh. Fuck right in front of me. My salmon work. There it is. Asking these different things, which shows the cover, doesn't it? Isn't me questioning every one of these people and these politicians by the dozens show and no one will say anything? No one will. Well, that can't be. That can't be. They can't say... Well, Blanche asked me about Fukushima. You know, here, let me have my aid turn loose on it and get back to Blanche. They don't get back to me? I call up to ODFW. They all know me personally. Call up on all these dams and these, they all know. I used to call them constantly. They all know. Yet nobody will say anything. Now, you don't think that's a cover up? I proved it's a fucking cover up. I proved that they hired teams of trolls to go after me. YouTube sites, Facebook, and, oh, you Johnny, come later. You should have seen it in 2011, 2012. 2013. Fuck, you know how many fucking trolls I had after me? Oh, my God. Fucking, I'm in critical condition. I'm fucking spending hours a day, many hours a day, policing my sites from trolls. You know, Facebook pages and YouTube sites, 100% with my name out, do nothing but troll me, call me every name in the book, and slander the fuck out of me while I'm in critical condition? Why? Why would people go to that much work and that much fucking time to slander Kevin Lynch? Because <laughs> they're paid to. So scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're stumped, they're alarmed. This is devastating. Too. I mean, and it's like uh, people say, oh, oh, still come fishing in Oregon. Yeah, but we'll keep it up on our, when both senators in Oregon, both senators in Washington, both senators in Alaska, both senators in California for that matter, have already fired for the last five years for emergency relief under the disaster acts and got it. They've declared it disasters. It's been declared disasters by each state at the federal level. That's how they get their fucking emergency funding to, I don't know what they do with it, but <laughs> they're dying to see. It's unarguable. <laughs> so we know factually, unarguably, there was some kind of outlier in 2011. That's unarguable. I've proven that. Well, it's unarguable now. We have all the data. All the data on the heating of the ocean, the wells, the starfish, the sea stars, it all points to 2011. So we know the outlier. It's the biggest outlier since, you know, 416 Krakatoa. So we, we know that. It's unarguable. This wasn't gradual like this. These were record turns and everything just collapsed, including the fires over the western United States, the Fluctonium fires which I predicted that. I hypothesized all this and then took the data. So we know absolutely unarguable something fucking radical happened to the Pacific Ocean and the Western North American ecology. We know this factually because of the tide pool data, the sea star data, the salmon data, this well data. This new study that came out the 75 biologists is really telling because it mirrors my work. You know, it took 13 years that 75 biologists said the starvation event on the humpback started in 2012. And they say it's the plume. They've got it right. This 75, they have it right on the money. They don't finish and say, okay, this starvation started in 2012 in an acute radical way, which they all said all that. And they blamed it on the acidification and the blob. I'm the guy that named, they didn't say what caused the blob. They don't finish the work. So the jury out on what caused it? Well, we know factually it happened in 2011. It's unarguable. So what happened in 2011? Let's start looking for the culprit. Let's look. 
Hmm. Meteor hit? That would explain it, right? Did a crack a toe form again? We have another you coat the planet? Block out the sun? No, no. We have like the biggest 900,000 Exxon Valdez will have. No. This has got to be something absolutely new that's never happened before. This has got to be so unique and so in modern history, well, in history of humans. Oh. Three core, full core nuclear meltdowns. And ace met fuel pools, blown to smithereens, visual. This is a nine point earthquake. I knew factually, my work had proven over the years at the water school business. I was talking to Dean Day, me and him, I'm like, fuck, man. The old Dean. I run into him at the pharmacy of all places. I proved back then. I mean, I was. I was the student professor at the Water School with the number one school business in the United States. Oh, that Wattis, the CG General Electric's named after. The number one school business in the United States, beating Wharton, beating Harvard, beat, look it up. In the 90s. I was the student professor there. Doing the economics on these reactors. And I knew factually from my work that these Mach 1, Mach 2, GE, Westinghouse water boilers could not handle an eight-point earthquake, let alone a nine. I knew that, actually. They melt down. They were gone. They were gone. So they blew up. They fucking pumed all over us for six days. Then the water went in. Well, it doesn't really matter if it goes into the air or the water, does it? The jet stream moves left to right. The Japanese current, you put a rubber ducky in at Fukushima. It will be at Gold Beach, Oregon, on the beach, just like the overpass from Fukushima that car drive I was on day six. Six days. You throw your rubber ducky, it'll be in San Diego, just like the tuna was in the summer of 2011, full of season 137. Look it up. You can go. I've proven the cover-up. I've proven that the Great Pacific Genocide. So prove me wrong. We know that something happened, so prove me wrong. I want to hear from these 75 buyers. I want to hear from all these. Says, Prove me wrong. What caused it? Global warming? So global warming just started in 2011. That's what you're saying? Global warming just presto mundo? That was some quick heating up. We know global warming has been going on for a while now. Several decades at least. This is acute. The Pacific Ocean heats up 1.25 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like, I'm the guy that first physically started reporting that you could see the plume. I'm the first guy that started using the term the blob. I mean, I'm the first on all this. I'm like, wait till 2016. The steelhead go to sea one to two. They don't live in the rivers in Idaho, in the ocean. We call how pounders first time. I've got boots on the ground. And we're got boots on the ground. I mean, look at all the work Tim Martin's done right there. He's, well, let's see. Tim Martin's probably just, well, I have that picture of him with that giant fish he caught in 2010 right here somewhere. Where is that? Where is that? I, don't know. I got so much shit here. So, anyway. He's, he caught the world's record. I mean, he doesn't record the world record, but there's pictures of it. Uh, Chinook, or excuse me, uh, Stillhead in Oregon in 2010. How about that Chinook, that picture of that Chinook? I've got to find that somewhere. I know it's around here somewhere. And uh, he's a famous, famous fishing guy, born and raised in including in Alaska, up and down. So he's been working this. He lives in his airstream on the beach at Gold Beach and up and down. He, that's what he does all day, 24-7, works it. He's half fish. <laughs> so it isn't like we haven't, I mean, visual proof, data. So what caused this great Pacific gents? Oh, did I name it right? And you're going to have... They're still going to say they're mystified, they're baffled, they're curious, they're stumped, they're fucking alarmed. They're still going to go like that? No, that's not what science is. I, what am I going to do, stay in academia? Maybe I'll go to work at Harvard, huh? I was headed there. I mean, I was headed to be half golden handcuffed at one of these fucking places at San Diego State, Washington, Oregon, you know, at Weber State. I mean, so what? You can copy and paste and fucking hand your work order to the JSTOR? They can control the data? What do you think you're in sports? Stewie, I think they gave him 35 years for a nonviolent, peaceful crime. 
I had to go wrong. Remember when YouTube used to call themselves the Great Equalizer? They throttled, they throttled me, <laughs> oh, to say the least. Come on, some of my videos get 100,000 views up until 2018. Uh, and they've had the brakes on me the whole time. But then used to Google all the subject matter on the sidebar. There I was. I was everywhere. I was everywhere. So, all you marine biologists, come on, man. Quit bowing to the nuclear energy gods. Quit praying to your nuclear energy gods. You know, they're not. What? What is it like? You can't say the F word? I mean, you're just like, God, don't say Fukushima. <laughs> wow. The nuclear energy emperors have no clothes. So, Alaska's closed it again. Read through it. It's a catastrophe. It's an acute, radical fucking catastrophe. In science, we call those outliers. Not outright liars, which that's what NOAA is. That's what the EPA is. That's what these marine biology departments, fuck, pitiful. So what did somebody come tell you and say, don't mention the word Fukushima? Okay. Well, do I get some money for that? <laughs> what if I do? Uh, uh, uh. I mean, everybody plays along. Let's play pretend, kitties. Fuck. I guess the nuclear energy crime city has that much clout and that much fucking power. Not over me, they don't. Not over me. Fuck. I'm not going to... Do you ever think it becomes such a revolutionary act to be a real scientist and do the real battle? Why well, full curve condition? I mean, I did the work. I'll continue to do it. So what happened in 2011? I'm waiting. Prove me wrong. Good luck to you. Stay in tune.